All right, guys, we're here to answer the question, bleed or not to bleed? Uh, there's several benefits that uh, come from bleeding out your fish. Uh, in my opinion, the best one for me is uh, the fact that you get a clean fillet table. Uh, there's really no mess. I mean, obviously you're gonna have guts and whatnot, but as far as like the blood, you don't have this big bloody mess uh, after you fillet a bunch of walleye. Uh, we've had a, decent, we actually had, actually had a good day uh, out on the Columbia River. So we're gonna do a side to side comparison of a couple walleye that were bled out versus a walleye that uh, were not bled out. So while we're here at the river still, I'd just like to show you the way that we kind of bleed out our fish. And there's several ways. So you wanna get your fish, um, this one's probably towards uh, the end of its its life. It's It still has a little life in it and it still has blood in its gills. So you wanna get uh, your, you wanna make sure that you bleed out your, your catch sooner than later uh, while they're still alive and their heart is pumping. So if you wanna come down here, I'm gonna show you how we're doing it. And again, there's several ways. Just grab a pair of scissors, preferably not from your wife's office. Uh, but anyhow, nice sharp pair of scissors. And you're gonna come up here underneath uh, the gills and the and the under part of the walleye. And you're just gonna get under there and just give it a solid swipe, snip, excuse me. Yep, and you'll notice that that blood is just gonna come right out of there. And real quick with this same fish, another way, oh yeah. An, oh, see that? There you go, that's the shot. That's the stuff that you wanna get out so you can get those nice clean fillets on the fillet table and you get that nice flaky white meat. So that one's gonna go in the live well and it's okay to bleed out your li and your fish in your live well or bucket. And another quick way that we kind of do it is just Go there on the gills and just snip the gills out. Um, one side is good enough, but if you could get both, then you're good. And this first, that's just a little extra, but again, see all that blood? It's just gonna come out. It's gonna end up, it's gonna end up leaving your fillets nice and flaky. So, uh, we're bleeding out our fish and we'll catch you right now at the fillet table and we'll actually do that comparison and see what you guys think. Thank you. All right, so we're, at, we're back here at the fillet table and here's a walleye that has not been bled out. And here's one that has. We're gonna do a side to side comparison. Uh, so here we go. And real quickly, I know I have a fillet, uh, a walleye fillet video on my channel. Uh, but real quick, we'll just run through this real quick while we're doing this comparison. So. Get your walleye wing. These guys, we're going to buzz out the cheeks real quick. Don't forget your cheeks. These are fun. Even that little guy is a fun, tasty little fella. There you go, quick and easy. So here we go. We're gonna show you the difference between the fillets. So. Okay. Okay, just for demonstrations purposes, we're gonna show you that one right off to the side. And then this one has not been bled out. As you know, there's no cut underneath the gill. So we're gonna come right here. There goes your wing. And if you know, wing to wing, you guys do the comparison. Cheek. Another cheek. And it's good. It's helpful also too when you're filleting your fish to get a, well this one's by Berkeley. You need to have a barrier between 
the knife blade and your fingertips. So here we go, side to side comparison. This one has not been bled out. Okay, so here we go. Here's the comparison, people. I mean, obviously, you know, there's still a little blood within right here. And I, I'll, uh, I'll say that that's because I didn't bleed it out properly. I should have bled it out sooner than later, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, but this one has never been bled out. And you see that the blood actually falls well back into the back area of the fillet. Uh, and let's finish on filleting these off real quickly. So, you're gonna buzz off these rib bones. And then on these as well. And on these smaller fillets, you don't have to worry about zippering them. I do have a little bit of skin right here but sometimes when you just come back over, you could just easily, if you could get a grip on it, you could, uh, easily pull that off, so. Okay, here's that side to side comparison. Not comparison to filet size, but bleed or not to bleed, that's the question. Thank you for watching. Go clean this little guy.